Welcome to this live stream um, and healing video for the cardiovascular system. Uh, that includes your hearts, veins, blood vessels, blood cells, and anything else blood related, both energetically and physically. Um, I'm going to talk about how the blood works energetically, and then I'm going to talk about portal clearing in the second half of this. So, in our energy body, we essentially have three main organs. Everything is there, but the three big main ones that are important is your heart, your brain, and your stomach. Now, the heart is a massively targeted area for a lot of people because it's pretty much your major energy pump in our energy body. When you look at it in, say, the fourth dimension, you won't see blood cells and blood flowing all around your body. Instead, you will just see energy. And when you really look at this energy, it symbolizes your blood. This energy, as you go into it, it does have a connection to your blood cells and your blood cells do exist energetically. But if you look at your energy body, you won't see blood flowing all around. You will just see your energy. Um, what this video will do is most likely you will feel warmth throughout your body. You may feel um, blood flowing much more strongly and into areas that it has barely been getting to before. That will all be completely normal. Um, if you get very warm, that's not an issue. That won't be your default state. You will most likely feel a large amount of warmth in your body. And then as your body adjusts to a much stronger and healthier blood flow, then you'll no longer feel super warm all the time. You feel a bit warmer, but it won't be annoyingly warm. Um, I'm going to talk about how the energy body and energy targeting in particular affects our organs and, and our blood in particular. When I was, I, I was going to say first starting, no, when I've been clearing alien implants for a long time, and I mentioned this in the fundamentals video on, on alien implants, I used to clear a whole lot of stuff out of my wrist. And I used to have, essentially, you could call it spider veins. I had really protruding veins pushed right up against my skin and it, it didn't matter it, it was the same when I was a child and it was the same when I was physically fit my veins were being pushed right up and as I energetically cleared um, the best way I could describe it is basically sci-fi sci like wires out of my arm my veins were able to actually rest inside of my body properly oftentimes when negative entities are targeting your energy body uh, especially if they're targeting a particular energy flow or energy channel in your body what I used to get is I used to get a beating or thumping inside of my veins and that was them um, essentially targeting that energy pathway and it was really annoying. They can, you, you may have had this, there is something called a heart expansion where oftentimes if you're, you are under serious energy attack, your body will decide to take a lot of your energy and to send it to your heart, and this video won't, won't do this, so don't worry about that, but it will send it to your heart, and it will cause the symptom of having a heart attack. <laughs> and it's it's damn right awful. I've had it happen, I think, three times majorly. I've had it happen to on a smaller scale before, um, and it's really annoying. So... I'm just thinking um, the best way to e explain. Essentially, when you're energy training, your organs energetically tend to grow. Now, they don't grow physically, but the quality of them does increase. And if you are under attack, um, your heart may just, your energy may decide that your heart needs to grow really fast in order to fend off what you're doing. And that can cause um, those symptoms. So, just like I mentioned in uh, yesterday's video, if you are having energy targeting on an energetic scale, you will often feel that physically. And if they're targeting the heart, that is a major energy point. And you're very much in tune with your heart. So you'll feel a lot of pain if um, any work is being done there. I'll talk about the energy connection to our blood cells. So we essentially have one 
energetic blood cell as our template. And this is then copied via by our energy to go throughout our entire body. So if you were to work on your blood cells, you would simply say, show me my blood cell. Okay, you'll see it. Oftentimes, negative entities will do something, and I'll talk about this much more in detail when I do a video on aliens and um, alien implants, but they will target your blood cell and they will gradually transmute it. This is very, very common with AI entities, very common with uh, reptilian entities. With really, all the alien entities love uh, transmuting, but <laughs> so do demonic entities. It's something they all do. So you may look at your blood cell and it may be black with tentacles coming out of it. It may be blue with amphibian bits on there. Overall, this is entity trans uh, humanism or entity hybridization of your blood cells. This can be undone. Um, the main reason why they hybridize you is by doing this, it makes you physically weaker, which allows them to target you more easily. And the more parts of you that are not human and are more like an entity race, the easier it is for these entities to reside in your body. As I go through this, um, by the way, I don't have much to talk about on the heart, at least not, not much planned. So feel free to ask topics, um, uh, feel free to ask questions on really any topic. I'm not that worried right now. No, I, I don't know much about particular heart chambers. I can see it as a big major organ. Um, overall, what this video, the main goal of it is to increase your overall blood flow. It's to clear out negative entity bits inside of you, negative energy, and to get your blood flowing much more easily. So your heart, it'll be stronger, but it, ideally you don't want it pumping hard, okay? You want it to be very strong and just pump slowly as you, the quality of your blood will increase and you will no longer need to be working at it um, as much. Uh, with this video, I'd recommend you come back when you feel you should. For some people, that may be four weeks. Some people, that may be three months. Because what will happen is your blood will increase. And over time, you'll either have targeting or you will get stronger and really just a new layer of clearing will come up. And stuff will come up and, again, target your heart and veins and all your cardiovascular system. Um, so it's a good one to replay. Uh, same with the nervous system one yesterday. Is there a specific blood type that's more targeted? I have no, I have no idea. I would say, no, I I don't think so. This, I wouldn't say blood type has, uh, at least for the time being, I wouldn't say it has much to do with targeting. I would say that they target pretty much anyone's blood um, the same regardless. Having a different blood type really doesn't look different energetically. It all looks like the same blood cell. Um, I'm going to talk about pineapples for a bit. So I recently worked on someone who had had the second and third pineapple a long time ago, <laughs> the first time, the first chance he could. Um, and one thing that's in them is some chemicals and the metals in there also have this agenda is to make the blood much more viscous, almost tar-like. Um, the goal of doing that is to essentially make it that people's blood is not flowing through their body properly, therefore their energy is not moving through their body, and it's much easier for entities to steal your energy if it's not moving around. And it's overall a way to harm people and make them much more obedient and eventually kill them. Um, but a lot of people, it's just to make them much more obedient, as if your blood is not flowing around your body, your energy is not flowing around your body, you're just going to be really tired all the time. <laughs> You're not going to be able to think well. How does this impact high blood pressure? That's a very good question. High blood pressure, while it, it can be you know, a very serious problem, physically, energetically, especially with the trans uh, humanism of blood cells, the rather than... Um, so some of them, it depends on the interest, just make your blood really slow. It can make your blood really cold. So you're cold all the time because your blood is not at the temperature it's supposed to be. Um, you said that's where the term cold-blooded comes from. With high blood pressure, that'd mainly be 
Demonic entities would be the main ones that are causing high blood pressure. So they would energetically put things in your blood flow, they'd energetically target your heart, and if they are able to hybridize a part of it, then that would be demonic energy there. And their goal would just be to get you triggered over pretty much nothing and to just make you in a permanent state of anxiety so they can more easily m manipulate you and more easily feed off you. Um, in this video, if your high blood pressure is caused by energetic means, then it should help with that. And even if it's not, this will also help with your blood physically um, in the third dimension as well, because these chemicals that are really slowing down people's blood, this will go through and undo that. I <laughs> had to figure out how to do that to clear clear his um, blood. This will revert your blood into a natural healthy setting. So if you've overdosed on a whole lot of blood thinners or a whole lot of blood stimulants, this, <laughs> yeah, I don't know why you do that, but if, if you took something and there was something additional added to it, then that could certainly be a reason why you would need your blood reset and put into a higher state of being. Now, if you've ever um, read any cultivation novel, Chinese or Korean, um, or anything that's set in the world of Murum, or any really any kind of martial arts novel or series, then you've most likely seen that in these stories, they talk about the inner self and the external self, the, the inner body, the external body. What this boils down to, and this is true to an extent, in other matrices this is much more true, but in this matrix you can train your, your inner self. So the external self is essentially your bones and your muscles, but more importantly just your muscles, all right? That's what really everyone knows you can train. You can train your muscles, but most people don't believe that you can train your internal organs. Now, you, you, you can't really train your, you know, your stomach by doing sit-ups. It's not really going to increase. But through energy work and just focusing on your organs and overall, if you're just energy training and not focusing on your, on your organs, but overall your energy body is increasing, there will be an effect of this. But as you energetically train, you can focus on your organs and you can increase the quality of their energy, increase the density of them. And then physically, y yes, hooray, I, I answered that, that question earlier. Yes, work on the three dantians. Um, so long as you focus on them, they will increase physically. Overall, um, you, you know, you've most likely seen martial artists who say they can train their various organs by, you know, hitting each other with sticks. Well, they, I wouldn't say that's not a way of doing it. I'd say it's certainly not the safest or best way of doing it. Um, but overall, your just how yesterday increased your nervous system, the strength of it, and the overall um, quality of it, this will be really good for increasing the quality and strength of your veins. Now, you're not going to get hit by a bat and it's going to bounce off, but <laughs> overall, your veins will be much stronger. They'll be able to more easily, if, if you do get hit by something, um, they won't take as much damage as the physical density of them has increased. Um, that's pretty much all I had to talk about on on that as well. Um, Casey says, I've heard of some people having too much iron in their blood. Is that demonic in origin and how do they get in? I wouldn't say having too much iron in your blood is demonic. I wouldn't say having too much iron is really much of a problem. Um, overall, people can have, you know, chemicals rain, rain down on them, and that can get in their blood. But having too much iron, really, I've worked on um, quite a few people's blood, and I haven't seen that as an issue from demonic targeting. Um, I'll talk about, so overall, the soul of the body, your consciousness, where your original thoughts come from, where your creativity comes from, is in the center of your chest. It is not in the heart. The heart is to the left. Overall, what I see, if you're energetically clean, if, if, if you're not, there's normally a lot of blockages, but if things are working well, out of the soul comes basically energetic channels, and they plug in to your heart, and then it plugs, from there, it mainly plugs into your organs. 
the heart is essentially a massive pump that moves energy throughout your body. If I'm just I'll look at the soul now, I see it connects up to the brain um, and the tongue, and it also connects down to the stomach and then out to the hands and feet. So there's a few major energy paths there. Well, as the heart connects everything, just how it does physically, energetically, it connects up to absolutely everything. Um, Mar Mariola asks, uh, when someone with Needleman 3 energy passes by her, she feels choking. No, that's not demonic energy. That's just the Needleman energy. Unless they have a lot of demonic energy. It, it can be a mixture of both, but you're just feeling the Needleman energy from them. I'll talk about negative portals now. It's really not that much more I can talk about on the heart. In terms of negative portals, there are two... I'll just group them into two main categories. There are essentially the, the fantasy type, normally set up by demonic entities, um, shamanic entities, etc. And then there are the more high-tech types, normally set up by alien entities. I'll talk about the first type first. So negative entities, after they have invaded into your energy system, and they may have done this when you were a child, they will find somewhere in your energy, um, wherever they want really, and then they'll often set up an entity realm. Um, sometimes they won't, but most of the time they will. So they'll set up an entity realm, and then in the entity realm, they will set up an energetic portal. The portal will differ depending on the entity race. Most entities aren't capable of setting up portals. Um, fairly old demonic entities are. That's a skill they usually have. If there's an entity race with a lot of different variants, so let's just say um, undead entities, for example. Okay, you've got wraiths, ghouls, etc., with that, there are particular undead entities that you could consider shamanic entities. They tend to have a bone mask on, uh, and that's the same for a lot of entity races. Um, snakes tend to have that as well. They're, sh they're shamans will often have bone masks on. They will set up a negative energetic portal inside of you, and they do this in order to make it just much more easier <laughs> for negative entities to pile in into you. So rather than having to come outside and then come in, and go through and you know get, get in the long way they can set up a portal inside of you then set up a portal normally within this matrix they don't normally set them up to other matrices but they'll set it up in an area that's absolutely infested with entities of their entity race and then they will just pool in that way um as this video goes on you may feel parts of your energy just flip over that's often a sensation that a portal has been cleared um, as this video plays, it will focus on the portals and then any negative entities around there, especially the negative entities that initially set up the portals, it will go through and clear. Yes, this um, Unplugged the Matrix just said he's had negative entities come through his TV as, as it works as a portal. Physical objects can work as portals, in particular t TVs, because you tend to watch things that are you know, even commercials that may not be something you're watching can have very negative energy so they can very much over time decrease the energetic quality of your tv and then yes they'll often have energetic portals all over it this is more so a video for clearing portals in yourself though um i'll talk about the second type of portals now so alien entities there are some entities that do have the abilities to open portals inside of you, but for the most part, they'll often just send in grunts. So just think of the crappier aliens, like the gray aliens, the ones that aren't very strong. They tend to slowly build what you consider a stargate inside of you. They'll often be various entity realms. Um, as, as you, when you first start, you'll just see a regular stargate and you'll just energetically close the basically surroundings of it, not the actual portal itself, and it'll collapse on its own. They're normally easier to erase, because if you just erase the power source and the structure, it finishes on its own. Um, as you get stronger with energy clearing, you'll see stronger stargates, and they'll often have 20 or so entity realms powering 
the Stargate itself. Those empty realms will be stealing your energy to power themselves, which then power it. So this will also close those as well. What is the working range of this video? Can I you leave it on at home when you go shopping? Yes. So long as you make the intention for the video's energy to work on you, you can really just leave your house and it will work on you. So you could play this in another country and you'd be fine. Overall, if you don't make that intention, it will just work on a rather large area. It will depend on the density of the surroundings. But overall, it will come out of your computer and work on those just in your vicinity. So just think about really your neighborhood, um, unless you've got a very dark neighborhood, in which case maybe 20 or 30 houses instead. Um, Therese asked, how were they able to set up portals through our shielding? That's a very good question. The answer is, so if you've got a shield, it essentially shields around you. It stops things just getting in. But if they have other entryways inside of you, it can bypass the shield. Now, when I do shields, I make it with the intention to block portals. So unless the entity is very deep or very clever, even then, if, if it's recent, that's unlikely. Um, but if it's very deep, then... It could potentially set one up, but the main the main way they have portals inside of us, even when you're shielded, is you're shielded, but you haven't gone through and you know cleared out absolutely everything. So there are still portals from within, um, you know, from years ago, and they'll come in through those. So it's less of them setting them up, and it's more of them just using ones they've already got. I have no idea about blood types, so I I don't know if it means anything. I would say energetically, I wouldn't worry about your blood type. Um, I don't feel like there's really much going on there energetically. It's not something I'd, I'd worry about. If anyone has any other questions, let me know because those, <laughs> those were the topics I planned. Oh, I'll talk about, so overall, people, if you do any drain, we should be capable of much more than we are. In this matrix, I don't really see there being a ceiling on what you should be capable of. Um, what I mean by that is that it may take a, a long time to get that. It may um, you know, take a, a lot of training. But I have yet to see any kind of ceiling on how strong someone can get energetically. So overall, as you increase the strength of your organs, you should be able to live much longer. Now, if you say, well, I don't want to live much longer. What, what it will also do is it will also allow you to live much, uh, much more relaxed. Because if your heart is pumping slowly, if your overall your body is much more relaxed, your uh, mind-body connection overall will be much more peaceful. Um, the more strain there is on your body, and that's one reason why negative entities try to create as much strain on our body as they can, it's to get our body in a state of anxiety to allow them to uh, more easily influence us and to you know, make us more miserable. Okay, I'm not going to talk about who made the moon. <laughs> not right now. Um... Yeah, if you want to contact me, just go on my website, um, Purple Energy. It's linked on my um, YouTube channel, and I have an email address there. I've recently reopened for sessions, by the way. I forgot <laughs> forgot to mention that yesterday, but that's open as well. Can you permanently protect yourself from inner portals? The answer is yes. You you can permanently once you've got a working shield up, and if you've played my shielding video you're pretty much protected from any new portals um, being set up. At least I'd say 99% of them for sure. And then it would just be a matter of gradually going through and clearing the stuff that's there. Once you've cleared out, and by, heck, by the time you've cleared everything out, you'd be so strong that you wouldn't need to worry about anything setting up new portals because you'd be able to fix it very quickly. 
Uh, will this video help Vicko's veins? Yes, it should. Um, if it's an energetic cause, then yes, it, it should be able to calm this down and relax them. If, um, while playing this video, you have a lot of strong pulsing, by the way, like it feels like, <laughs> um, that's perfectly normal. That is your heart becoming much stronger, much clearer from negative entities, and then projecting energy much more strongly throughout your body, which in turn is resulting in this pulsing feeling. That will pass. It, it does get, <laughs> it can get really annoying when that's happening, especially when you're trying to sleep. So, um, that will pass. Overall, I'll just go through my, my symptoms. So I'm feeling a lot of blood flow, especially on my hands. Um, when I first started working on my blood flow, say a year and a half ago, my I used to be fairly pale white and it was because my blood was very targeted energetically, which led to me having much weaker circulation, which led to me being very pale white looking. I used to look very, very sickly until I got strong energetically and fixed it. Um, so overall, this should, if you have a lot of paleness, help your complexion. Even if you've not got paleness, it will help your blood flow, which in turn will help your skin complexion, as you've now got a lot more blood flowing through your body and you're, you'll be much more vibrant. Um, overall, you may feel a prickling sensation, especially in your major veins along your arms. That's because negative entities will often target um, your arms in particular. George says he's got a mild headache. That, that's a good sign. That shows that you weren't, you had a large blockage in your head, which was stopping the blood from flowing in it um, optimally. Um, the prickling sensation, that could be, well, it could be um, physically a few chemicals were there that are now getting cleared and your blood is basically being resolved there. It's becoming healthier and the state that it should be in or it could be that there are entity realms that were set up in your energy system which are being cleared and now blood is flowing uh, freely through there as well if you do get any heart pain from this no that's fine if the pain gets really annoying feel feel free to pause it and take a break overall as your energy increases you may feel this video really strongly depending on how energy sensitive you are you may feel it really strongly the first uh, playthrough and then as you play it um, on and off for a week, you can then play an additional tab, which means you'll play the video once, right? And then you'll play it a second time in another tab on your computer. And that will um, basically give you double the energy work. You can do that with all the mainly videos. They all stack. Um, but I wouldn't recommend you do that to start with. I'd recommend you let your body get used to it and then you progress from there. Um, I'll be asked, yeah, I'll talk about this. So speak about the ego mind. He said, a guru said that when the veil is lifted between the self and mind plus body, the self or soul no longer suffers or feels pain. Um, what do you mean by the veil is lifted? Overall, the ego, I don't really talk in <laughs> terms like that. Um, in my experience, what a lot of these people tend to think the ego is, is so they will make connections, um, I'm not going to say they will. I'll say some of them, from, from what I've seen, make connections with false white light entities. And then as they increase that connection, the person who they were, their consciousness, their soul, they try to just quieten down. And they say that that is um, their ego, which which is bad. There's also the idea that the ego is all these negative thoughts that you have. The problem is so many people, it's one reason why I don't use the term ego. So many people have a different concept for what the term ego means. Um, for example, if you're just sitting there and you're having negative thoughts, they say that that's the ego. Well, in reality, that's just a negative entity, a demonic entity that's putting thoughts in your head. It's not a part of you. Um, so, to 
really answer your question uh, when the veil is lifted between the self and mind and body you no longer suffer or feel pain I would say that as you energetically get clear as your you clear up your soul area you clear up your real energy body you, you clear this energy out of you you get a quiet mind you don't have unnecessary suffering right you're not just sitting there and having annoying thoughts that you really shouldn't be there's no thought looping your mind is quiet you can certainly still still feel pain you know if you hit your leg on something it's still going to hurt it's not going to hurt as much because there won't be negative entities amplifying the pain and they also won't be pushing you into situations like that so it's less likely to occur but overall you would still have a certain level of suffering just in this matrix um same that other people do but you'll be able to handle it better and it won't be as big a deal and you'll still feel pain but it won't be random unexplainable pain um, from entities no my needleman 3 video um, does not completely clear people who took the pineapples um, it clears the energy from it it's it will help them but it's mainly meant for people who haven't taken it who are living with these people that are emitting this negative energy it clears that Um, Jean said he felt a big blockage removed from his heart and can breathe easier. Overall, um, you may feel this... One thing negative entities do is they love to make copies of things. that They're not creative. So they'll take your heart, which is over here, and then they will put it behind just a black demonic heart. And then over here, they've also got a blue Egyptian Ra heart, who's um, a blue chicken man. And then on your lower back, they've got the green reptilian Egyptian god heart they'll often make replicas of your heart so if you're feeling blockages being removed that feel like a big pulsing thing that's often artificial heart implants that entities have made so as this goes through it will um, clear those from you as well if you feel like oh no your heart especially if it's if it's over here it's okay that's not your heart that's on the wrong side of your body but if it's on your left side and you feel like your heart's getting smushed or dissolving, that's completely normal. This video will not energetically do anything to a part of you other than clearing and restoring it, but it will erase negative replicas of your heart. Um, so that's nothing to concern yourself with. Is there a way to clear people completely? Yes. Um, if you look on my website, I talk about that there. Uh, that was in regards to pineapples. That was not in regards to getting cleared from everything energetically. Uh, I'm still not there yet. You know, overall, this is just a marathon. You just keep at it and just keep clearing through the layers. Overall, with energetic portals, um, they can also put them in physical areas. So, if you are energy clearing, or if, heck, let's say you're not energy clearing. Let's just say some entities want to target you more easily they'll often put portals in your bedroom they'll put portals around your house they'll often put them in kitchens um, they could often be there if you move into somewhere and there was trauma in the past they can um, they can abuse that trauma energy to create a portal they'll often put them inside you've most likely if you've been around anywhere that's had cursed furniture for example a cupboard that should have been replaced 20 years ago and you open it and the it's just covered in mold and it's you know you can barely even see the actual shelves oftentimes there will be negative portals in there and uh, as along with just a whole lot of negative energies objects can objects they're not conscious right they are what we perceive them to be so for example let's say you've got a bathroom shelf um or a bathroom cupboard with a sink on top that's really negative you may feel that energetically <laughs> it's basically got its hand coming out and grabbing you now if you were to or it's it's more so that you've perceived this object to be a shelf um or a cupboard and it's a individual unit that is why it energetically covers the cupboard and it doesn't include the floor or anything else in the energetic takeover of the object um overall I'm um, talking about the cupboard because back in my old house in Australia, there was <laughs> in my bathroom, man. Yeah, there was a 
cupboard that was under the sink and it was really cursed and I, ha I had to energetically fight it whenever it got to wash my hands <laughs> for a while. It was very annoying. And inside of there were a lot of negative portals. And then because this cupboard was physically attracting negative um, things like bugs, but energetically it was also attracting a lot of negative energy. So the cupboard was growing in strength and time and it had portals inside of it. So I had to energetically clear away the negative entities and the basically energetic manifestation of this cupboard and then go through and clear the portals. So they can put portals in physical objects. They, can, they put them on walls just because it makes it faster for entities that are going to regularly target you to, to be able to get you. It also makes that if you do start energetically clearing and they, they know you can, but you're not strong enough yet to see portals and th this happened to me, then you're they've done something to you, you're really annoyed, you're going around, you're trying to find them, and you can energetically clear things, by the way, you're better off doing it in a calm state, but if you're annoyed, your powers aren't going to get any weaker, they're going to be the same. Um, you can go through and clear them, so they may go back to the portal, and then when you go to sleep, come out, attack you, and then go back again. Uh, they can also do that. Yeah, you may... You most likely feel this. Um, Susan just said that she's getting nauseous in her stomach area. They often really target the blood flow to your stomach because that is a major way that they can really harm people. The stomach, um, and I'll be mentioning this in the stomach video, it's not an area that we really regularly check. So they'll often target the various organs there in order to causes harm and one way they can really cause harm is by stopping blood flow because um, then slowly just parts of your stomach begin to die off and once that's happened there's not really much other than energy work there's not really much you can do to resolve it physically they go oh that's that's not good we can <laughs> I, you know untie <laughs> the blockages here but overall you're in big trouble so they'll often target the blood flow to your stomach area Um, Mariel says she feels stressed and anxious now. That can be, number one, it could be that you had a lot of stress and anxiety from having your blood flow blocked up and that's very stressful. And you wonder a lot of stress when it first happened and it could have been when you were seven. And now that it's being undone, your body's going, oh, that's right. <laughs> this is what it was like before I was seven and my blood flow got cut off. So it could be that. It could also be that as these energetic portals are getting cleared, if you have a lot of negative entities, um, you may be feeling their anxiety as well. Um, Cassie says that she's feeling uh, the side emotion feeling of heartbreak. Is that common? The answer is yes. Um, while this video is not made to really work on um, emotional targeting, there will be some emotional clearing here. You may have tears coming out of your eyes. Um, and we have a lot of spit and mucus coming out. That's all completely normal. The reason for that is the heart is a major emotional energy center as well. It's in charge of all your energy and a lot of emotional energy goes there. So if you have a heartbreak, your heart in your energy body can take a lot of damage. Um, so it may be before you've had the heartbreak, your heart was mostly fine. It was 90% intact. And then after it, it basically just broke in two. And then as you get over it, it'll energetically go back together to an extent. You may, some people may never fully recover unless they energetically do the energy work and <laughs> put it back together, especially if negative entities are trying to keep it apart. Um, but yes, you, you may feel heartbreak symptoms. Um, you may even feel, let's say you had a heartbreak seven years ago, and now that this video is playing, you're now feeling, oh, you had this heartbreak seven years ago, here's the damage and it's now being cleared. So you're feeling that feeling you felt seven years ago for a short period of time as it comes back together. Yeah, the room I'm in now is, is very clear. I, I, don't, I don't want to live anywhere, you know, like that again, that's for sure. But even if I did, I'd move in and, and clear everything. It's very annoying when you're fighting cupboards and toilets and showers and other furniture in your house. Um, if you're living on your own, it's easy. If you're living with people that aren't very negative, it's easy. But if you're living with negative people, 
it's it's quite difficult because you'll clear up the cupboard and then they'll use the cupboard and it'll absorb a lot of their negative energy and then you've got to fight the cupboard again uh, no tinnitus is not normally blood flow that's normally um, amine implants uh, blood flow can have an extent uh, an effect on it um, but overall it, I'd say it's more so um, energetic clearing. I'm going to talk about that one in my main video as well because it's that's something they majorly cause there. Um, Crystal Clear says she's, she's had the worst thought looping in, um, in her shower ever since she moved. Yeah, for me... Um, actually, I'll talk about in general. Oftentimes you're energetically fine and clear you're not having negative thought loops for the most part when you're in a clear area but if you've got a lot of trauma you've got a lot of trauma wounds a lot of negative energy and entities that are just waiting for your resistance to come down a bit if you go in a cursed shower or if you go somewhere cursed yes yeah, suddenly the negative thought loop um what used to happen with me is in my house in australia i would be fine i'd be energetically clearing all the time and then i'd go into the kitchen and whatever i was working on it just slowly begin to gain ground on me and it would be really annoying because I just spent day, days clearing and then I'd go in the kitchen to get something to eat or something to drink and that would happen. Um, so yeah, that, that does tend to happen where you go in a particular area. Now, why was the kitchen cursed? Well, there were some very cursed dragon goblets in, in the kitchen that a family member had and liked. They were a major reason. And then if you are cooking and you just kind of leave your dishes there overall um as mold and things build hopefully you're not leaving them out and they're getting moldy but as mold and other things build especially underneath your pantry behind the fridge etc that energetically creates a, a lot of negative energy um which does as it builds up then go on to attack you Overall, um, in I'll talk about this in refrigerators. It's a lot less likely for them to get cursed because they've got a light on the whole. Well, not the whole time they have. <laughs> they have a light on when you open them. Right? Um, but there's often a lot of light going on. The more light there is, the harder it's going to be for negative energy to manifest. That's often why mold. You think, well, I mean, physically, there's, there's a reason for this as well, but energetically, if sunlight's not getting under your fridge or it's not getting into a particular area for a long period of time, that's where things tend to physically manifest um, negatively. Yes, the, the house shielding video does help shield your TV from attacking you. Uh, are watching films safe? Well, it, d it depends on the film. Um, it, it varies a lot. I'm not even sure. It's interesting. I'm stuttering. I don't. I don't stutter as a person, and I'm not anxious whatsoever. I think it's just probably because I'm having so much energy flow. It's like I'm consciously making an effort to remain calm and not just speak at the fast pace that I regularly speak at. So I'd say that's where that stuttering is coming from. Um, but is watching film safe? And the answer is, well, you have to use your own, really intuition, your own feeling on that. Um, some films, know they're not safe whatsoever. They're cursed. They're made to harm you. And some films, n not at all. Um, put it on or even just feel into the poster. And if you feel bad, if you feel pain, if you're you know, feeling anxious or whatever negative symptom you have flare up when you're around something with negative energy, then don't watch it. And if you feel into it and it feels neutral, then you should be fine. Uh, yes, Hesnova, I, I answered that question earlier. It should. I used to have um, really bad spider veins. Um, and while the problem was not my blood flow, it was energetic implants, this would have helped clear those um, as it's clearing your blood flow from overall anything that is in the way and causing problems. You may feel as your blood flow is moving through your body, parts of your um, 
body beginning to move around to where they should be. Oftentimes, negative entities will basically screw up your alignment. They'll move bones around, not not to a large amount, but to to an amount that it screws up um, your energy system. And as your blood is now flowing much more strongly and much more smoothly, it will adjust those because I'm getting some like rumbling noise in my jaw and some movements there. So that's all perfectly normal and it's nothing to worry about. Yeah, I'm not going to talk about cell towers now just because that's a, a, a long topic. And I can talk about that, I don't know, quite a bit, but I do believe I would need to make a clear video for that. But I'm not feeling that right now is the optimal time for it. If, um, while playing this video, this, this hasn't happened for me, but if this happens to you, your heart suddenly starts just beating like mad. Um, that's also not something I would worry about that will stop on its own. The reason it's doing that is suddenly, if your heart was really blocked up and you haven't had a good blood flow for years, potentially decades, then it will be, <laughs> it'll suddenly go, oh, I can actually breathe, um, and it may beat a lot. That's perfectly normal. Um, and on, on the other way, if it slows down, which isn't likely, it, it's most likely to beat quite a bit. But as your heart increases in strength, then it won't need to beat as much and it may beat more slowly at a nice calm beat. That's good as well. So if suddenly you're worried that your resting heartbeat is way lower than it's supposed to be, and this used to happen for me when I, I was um, doing exercise, there'd be um, things on some machines that could measure your heart rate, and my heart was beating very slowly, and even when I was sprinting, it was still beating <laughs> uh, much lower than they say a healthy rate is, but you, you do need to be concerned if it's beating way too fast, but if it's beating way too slow, that just means you've got a really steady, strong heartbeat, and it's not anything to worry about. Do entities have something to do with deja vu? No, I wouldn't say entities have something to do with deja vu. I would say that is um, to do with dreamscape, and it's to do with... you. That would mean that you have an innate ability to see glimpses of the future, um, and it's being done through dreamscape. It's not negative. Deja vu is not negative. The only... I, no, I wouldn't say it's negative whatsoever. The only way it could be negative is if you keep seeing a, a traumatic event. Um, but overall, if you're getting desperate for a traumatic event, that'll often give you um, really an alternative um, to having that happen because you'll have the desperate and you go, oh, wait, this is that. Like, you'll remember shortly before it happens, most likely, and then you can change it. So no, I wouldn't say there's any real negative downside to deja vu. Um, overall, I'm feeling this now. If you're feeling that your heart is basically huge, it's it's like hurting, too much pressure, then what you will do is you will energetically um, make the intention to just de... Or, or you can just ask the video to, to decrease the um, size of your heart. What will happen is the density will increase. So overall, with energy training, as you train, your energy body and all your organs will get bigger and bigger and bigger. 
and then you can feel absolutely gigantic, but that doesn't mean you're strong because what really matters is density. So then you'll just bring it in and you'll see the quality increase and the detail will increase. Um, so if your heart is getting too big, you're feeling like you've got giant veins, like they're, you know, <laughs> giant hose pipes, then just make the intention to decrease the density of them and increase the quality of them and you'll feel much more in your body. Do entities hate sunlight and water? I wouldn't say they hate sunlight and water, especially sunlight, but it's it makes them weaker and it does diminish their overall um, energy. So it's something they try and avoid. At least the smart ones try and avoid it. Uh, does weird attract entities? I've answered that before. The answer is yes, um, it does. But if it's a hobby and you're doing it occasionally, it's really not that bad. Um, but overall, as you get energetically stronger, you'll just feel that it, it doesn't feel clean and, and you'll stop on your own. Um, I'm not going to talk about shifting timelines either because there's I have a lot to talk about on that. Um, and I've got about, I'll go for another nine minutes. I'll go to an hour. If anyone has any questions, not just about um, portals or blood, just overall questions that, you know, I'm not going to go on a tangent for for a long time, <laughs> um, feel free to ask them. If um, I talked about how being around a negative object can give you uh, faster negative thought loops, if you're around um, positive things, it can also cause negative thought loops to become more frequent. Now, what I mean by that is, so let's say you played this video and your negative thought loops are like, no, I don't play that, that guy's, you know, he's a bad guy. Then ignore them. <laughs> That's the best thing you can really do because they have conditioned you, and a lot of ent entities um, do this, they will condition you for certain things. So, as they have conditioned you, you will put something on and you go, oh no, I'm feeling this again, it's negative. Well, in the meantime, they're relying on that conditioning. So, the best thing you can really do is to just ignore them. Um, and see how it goes. Now, if you yourself feel that something is negative, stop, um, you know, straight away. But if, you know, they're telling you, no, don't listen to them. <laughs> Just ignore them. And overall, the negative thought loops will gradually slow down and they'll just either, they'll either stop wasting their energy um, or if they've got a big foothold on you, they'll, they'll just keep going. But normally they, you know, will calm down um, as they realize that they're just wasting their energy and you're not listening to them. Uh, Peter P asks, can he play this video and set the intention for it to work on a friend or relative who would not watch it themselves? Um, the answer is yes. So how, how this video will work is if you have it on default, okay, this video will come into your computer and then people around you in a rounder, it depends on the density. If you're in a clear area, a few kilometers, if you're in a really dense area, 400 meters, will have the gold pillar. Now this will work on anyone who is a positive person. It will not work on negative people. Um, and it will work on them. If the person you want it to work on is not living in your vicinity, okay, it's a friend who lives quite far away, what I'd recommend you do is you play a video tab on its own and you'll say, this one is for this person. And then suddenly you're a positive person and they're not adamantly rejecting it then it will work on them and it will clear them no problem. Um, in terms of, you're better off asking the person, letting them know what's going on so they're not just sitting there going, what, I feel really hot and <laughs> very bizarre, especially if they haven't done anything energy before. They're like, okay, I feel very, very hot. They may and they may have some you know, heart pain, some poof, poof, energy pulsing. They'd be very confused. So you're better off letting people know but can, can you sneak it on people? Yes, that that's up to you <laughs> ethically, um, but there's no problem with that. 
Uh, there's a theory that cutting your hair weakens you energetically. Is this true? No, I wouldn't say it weakens you energetically. I mean, I like having long hair at the moment, and I don't want needle people cutting my hair. <laughs> um, overall, your hair does have energy, and it it's a good display of health, but it's not something that I would... Like, I'm not, if I cut my hair, I wouldn't really lose energetic power. <laughs> right, I'm not using the energy for my hair. Um, so, no. But it is a good indica indicator of energy strength if you're able to keep your hair, um, you know, energy energetically clean. I'm not going to comment on other people. That's just not something I'm really going to do. So, I'll say no, no comment on that one. Can NPCs get affected by my videos? The answer is yes. Yes, they can. They'll be affected to a lesser extent because an NPC, the, there's no soul connecting to the heart, so they have a lot less energy. But they do have some energy. So, will this video work on an NPC? Yes. Um, overall, with this video, if you are feeling hot, feel free like too hot um, feel free to play the grounding video um, and that will help ground you back into your body and it should alleviate the symptoms um, I'd recommend especially if you play this one for let's say three four hours to then play the grounding video you can play it in tandem as well there's no problem with that you can mix and match any of my videos um, no issues there Lost my train of thought because <laughs> I read a question. No, I, I the most recent um, Stoller Eclipse, I didn't really notice anything from. I ignored it for the most part and was just energy training all the time. So this one was either not a problem or I was a lot stronger and it wasn't an issue. But I'd say no, it just, this one really didn't seem like a problem at the moment. How much of the population of NPCs? The answer is 74%. So 26% of people have souls. Um, I'll just talk about this at the end here. In terms of animals having souls, so usually people with pets, um, especially if they have souls, uh, if the owner has a soul, you'll only be attracted to someone with souls. So um, not attracted to someone. You'll be attracted to pets with souls. You won't normally end up with a dog or cat that's empty. But Livestock in particular, and I'm not quite sure why the Matrix is like this. I'm, this isn't something that I've done or I, you know, even... I've just found out about it, um, you know, on my own. But going around, um, where I'm living right now, there are quite a few farms and there's a lot of sheep farms. And I can look at the sheep farm and they're all just empty. So, for whatever reason, livestock animals the vast majority of them, 98% I'd say, don't have souls. Um, they're just empty. They're just, you know, video game <laughs> animals, essentially. So, I'll just, I'll feel into that, why that is. I'd say it's because in order for negative entities to feed off animals as well as people, if they're not living that long, right, then they've, reincarnated them into a body they're born and then they're killed fairly quickly for food the they don't really get to have entities don't get to have much of a foothold if they're not alive that long that could be a reason um overall I wouldn't worry too much about the NPC thing the fact that about a fourth of us have souls is terrific it's much higher number than I thought and looking around it, it doesn't seem like it but the silent majority um which is what you know we really are. We're not the majority of people, but we, I consider us, you know, people with souls, to be the main um, group in, in the silent majority of what's going on. There are a lot of souled people, um, and they do make up, you know, they at least, even if they don't act on things, they feel that something's wrong, and they aren't just going along with everything, hopefully. Thank you, yeah, I'm enjoying having long hair. I'm probably going to just keep growing it. I don't see any reason not to. Um, I haven't really had long hair either. I had long hair when I was 12, um, and then I had to cut it for high school. Because <laughs> it, it, I think it was a, a bit longer than this. Um, yeah, so I'll keep growing it. 
Can NPCs give birth to a person with a soul? Yes, yes they can. Um, again, I haven't looked into much of how all that goes behind the scenes because I'm not really really worried about how birth works at the moment. Um, I, I've seen what happened with my birth and how that worked because I was curious. But overall, NPCs can give birth to people with souls, um, but it's fairly rare for people with souls to give birth to NPCs. Um, i trying to think if I've actually... I've never had someone who's booked a session for their child or even their pet who and said, oh no, they're empty. That's that's never happened. They've always had a soul. So anyone who's into this um, you know, en energy and has a soul tends to have pets and children <laughs> with souls. So if anyone has any other questions um, on Heart or Blood, overall, feel free to use this video as much as you want. Um, listen to your own body, don't overdo it, um, but you know, feel free to play it as much as you want. I'd recommend you download it, that way, you know, who knows what's going to happen in the, especially the long term future. So having a copy on your computer, um, there's no problem. If you want to upload this anywhere to your own website, your own YouTube channel, feel free to do that as well, there's no issue. Um, there at all. Just think if I have anything I'll send on. No, that's pretty much it. I'm open for sessions um, for the time being. I took longer off than I <laughs> certainly planned to, but I'm back now. So, everyone, I will do another healing video now when I feel the time is right. Maybe in two weeks, maybe, maybe three. I'll come up. Whenever I feel I should do one, I do one. Um, one reason why I'm not in a hurry, but like I need to make as many videos as much as possible, is because I'm always training. So the me now and the me yesterday is significantly, just astronomically stronger than I was. Just how I talked about energetic growth rates yesterday, it's significantly stronger than I was um, a month ago when I made the Needleman video. So that's one reason why I'm not in a hurry, because I know that a, a video I do in the future will be much stronger than now. Now. That being said, I don't go, oh, well, I, you know, I'll just never do a video because then I, it's not like I ever regret making the video, but I do often feel, oh, I'm, it's a week later and I'm much stronger and I would often discover something major, especially when I first started, I discovered something fairly major that I thought, oh, I should have put that in the video um, after I'd done it. So, you know, if I ever just don't make any videos for a month, don't worry, I'm still energetically training all the time and I'll come back and it'll be much stronger um, as well. So thank you everyone, take care.